In this video, we'll be going over a couple of configuration options options for Helix. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, we'll launch Helix by pressing HX, and then we'll open the config by typing colon config open. This will open the config. So we have already set up the theme option. Uh, now we will add some more. So we'll start with some editor configuration. So we'll write editor, and then first thing I want to <coughs> set up is relative line numbers so we'll go line hyphen numbers and we'll say relative so this will make the line numbers relative uh, so if we do config reload now you see uh, the current line number is 4 but uh, if you see the other line numbers they are 1 2 3 uh, they are relative to the current line so if I move here, it will show one line below is line number and the one line above is empty line. So and that's relative line numbers. Uh, it's easier to use this because then you can jump to a specific line above or below the current line uh, quickly. Uh, so the next one is uh, to highlight the line we are on. So for that, we have cursor line. We'll set that to true and again we'll do config reload. And yeah, you see now whichever line we are on, it highlights that line. Right? So the next one I want to set up is something called a buffer line. Uh, so this will get get into later. So this is used when you have multiple buffers or if you talk in general terms multiple files open in in your helix then it shows a tab bar so for that uh, we add the buffer line which which tells you what are the buffers that are open already uh, so we'll set it to multiple uh, so that way when there's only one file there's no buffer line but when you have multiple files open then it'll show a buffer line next one is uh, of course mouse equals to false to disable the mouse support i don't like using mouse with helix so i usually dif disable that and another setting that i like the look of is uh, color modes so when we set this to true and we'll do config reload again you see the mode you're on gets highlighted so if you if you see in the bottom left corner uh, the normal is now highlighted in in a color so it, it looks nice and you know uh, it uh, helps you detect like which mode you're in so because of that i try i usually enable this option now another another option that i use is so if we go to editor dot cursor shape so other than the indication and in, in the bottom left uh, i i use another indication for it uh, for the mode that we are in so for insert i set the cursor shape to bar and uh, for select i set the cursor shape to underscore Okay, so once we are done with that, now if you go in the insert, uh, let me just reload the config. Huh. Looks like there's an error. Uh, it says unknown variant underscore. Okay, oh, it's called underline. Okay, sorry. So I'll just make it underline and yeah so now if you see if we go to the insert mode uh, okay, i need to reload the config also okay hopefully now if we press enter yeah the cursor shape changes to a bar so this indicates that i am in insert mode when you are editing you don't really want to look at the bottom left corner every single time so this is also another indication like in which mode you are in 
as soon as I go back to normal mode it ag again turns back to the normal block cursor and if if we want to try the select mode we press S so now give me one second so if we do select not like this like by pressing V and then you see it's an underlined cursor and we can highlight whatever we want to right so these are couple of the options that I that I can't live without basically <laughs> and these are important for me and uh, another one that I use is because I code in Python a lot uh, so I use indent guides and I set that to render, e render equals to true so this way uh, when we have multiple indentations uh, it shows uh, Indian guide for each of them so I think for now these configurations of op configuration options are enough so I'll just write and quit and now let's try editing something li like writing a simple Python function so I'll do hx test dot pi so we'll first we'll start by creating a simple function uh, test which just prints a line so do print hello from helix and uh, now if you see there is a line below the def so that indicates the indent uh, guide uh, i think if you want to see this more clearer then let's just create a class so I'll create a class and then in that we'll have a test function so, so now you can see that uh, uh, the Indian guides are showing up uh, so the sint uh, you also see that the syntax is getting highlighted so helix uses tree sitter for highlighting for syntax highlighting and parsing the whole code so this is actually very helpful we'll get into this uh, uh, get more into it in future videos uh, but as of now this is how it is so yeah i think that's it for this video uh, i'll see you in the next one